We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Always been a dynamic scorer, and, and we saw in that first half the entire repertoire on display. Yeah, he's a hard man to keep down, and so far they haven't found the answer for him. I don't know if there is an answer for him, quite honestly. Here's Curry. And on the floor for Byron Scott as we get into the second half. Ajahn Rondo is out there with Bryant. And it's LeBron James. And there's Davis. And it's Howard in at the five down low. For so long, there has been this mindset that Golden State wins through offense. But their defense, you know, Gia, you were talking about this, is where the true strength of this team lies. Yeah, I think that's what's really allowed them to separate when you look at the rest of the league. I mean, they led the league in opponent's field goal percentage last season. And some nights, the shots weren't falling, but the defense always showed up. Bryant with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Kobe dishes to LeBron. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. Who the line. That one on Thompson. And you know what the Warriors it goes beyond the stats. High character guys, tremendous culture. They had a lot of guys that could guard multiple positions and defend them well. That was a big reason they became champs. All right now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Good, James. And you just look at this Warriors roster, and there are a ton of defensive playmakers. That ability to switch everything and be fine is what made them so tough on the defensive side of the ball. And both free throws good for LeBron. Two straight seasons of no playoff for the Lakers after last year's miss. Not what they were hoping for. It's, it's going to be a growing process. I mean, they had a young team and an injured superstar in Kobe both years. Hard to make the playoffs in that situation. He gets right to the rim, but the defense there to deter. I really like that he didn't shy away from the contact at all. I mean, he was determined to get to the basket no matter who was offering the resistance. First free throw is good. And guys, for the Lakers, you'd have to go back almost 40 years to find a time when the Lakers missed the postseason in back-to-back -back years. Fortunately for them, they won two titles in the next six years after that. Second free throw, no good. And it's doubtful that the Lakers will win multiple titles in the coming years unless something drastic happens. Still, this is a franchise committed to success, and they'll do whatever it takes to get back into the postseason. Nice shot by Rondo. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. The feed now to Green. Green with a screen on run. Curry. He dishes it to out. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists tonight. Lakers trail by four. Ryan passes to Rondo. Kobe sets the pick for Rondo. Back to Kobe. Shot clock at five. The shot no good, a bit short. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Open shot, Thompson, and James pulls it down. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Inside, here's Davis. 
Can't hit. Curry was a nice D. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. Now the pass to Bogut. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. The number one overall pick in 2005, Andrew Bogut. Great expectations, Greg, for the big RC coming in. Yeah, I mean, a phenomenal rebounder and, and rim protector. He's got that high basketball IQ from a defensive standpoint. You know, and on offense, he, he averaged over 20 points a game in college. He, he's an instinctive passer. Just not much more you could ask for. And he can't get the first one. You know, going back to Bogut's fanfare entering the league, was third in Rookie of the Year balloting. Then he went on to have some solid, if unspectacular, years, though his shot blocking and defense were always strong. Good on the second free throw. And guys, one thing people often forget to mention about Bogut, his passing. What sets him apart as a big man is his court vision. And whether it's from the high post, low post, he can create opportunities for his teammates. Now here's James. He's got 11. Outside, Davis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Nelson, the big men in the league, didn't mind drifting out and letting it fly from deep. Here are the best three-point shooters, centers, and power forwards. Draymond Green, fourth. And the value of having a big man who can do what these guys can is, is that they draw bigger defenders out of the paint. You have to stay with them wherever they go. And, you know, that opens up some wide lanes and paths to the bucket for their slashers. And they get a lot of room as a result to operate and penetrate. It's a huge benefit having a big fellow who can knock down threes. Timeout called the Warriors. Boy, I tell you, the Warriors did something that no other team had ever done before. They ended the regular season ranked first in field goal percentage and field goal percentage defense. Essentially, they were the best offensive and defensive team in the league. Remarkable. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Last season for the Warriors really dominated from beginning to end to lead the league and break both offensive and defensive efficiency. And Kevin, a lot of people knew the Warriors were good at offense. I mean, but they've been equally as good defensively over the past few seasons. Kind of flying under the radar for whatever reason. Not the case going forward. It's stolen by Bogut. Jazz under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. The pass to Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got six assists now in the game. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know, he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And the Warriors making a change here. Barnes is checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Green, he's checked in for Bryant. Lakers trail by eight. Rondo kicks to Green. Pass to LeBron. Tries to snap the cold streak. And that's his style right there. That's his game. He plays it as well as anyone. And when we get the crunch time, that's when he's at his best. He did all, no good. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. Now here's LeBron, 13 points in the game. Now here's Curry. Dishes it to Thompson. And the three off target. The Lakers have gone two of six from the field here in the third. James with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Davis against Bogut. He had to fade back on that one, but still got it to go. And now it's just a four-point Warrior lead. It's Curry with the drive. Goes up with the strike. Good on the shot. Curry's got eight points.
for Los Angeles. They've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Rondo kicks to James. Stolen by Thompson. So it's the Warriors now. Warriors leading by six. Here's a good hour. And he buries that one, tripping the rim on the way down. He's got 13. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Rondo dishes to James. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Pass to Howard. The rim rattling two-handed jam. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two hand. Now, here's Thompson. 21 points in the game. The shot by Curry. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got three rebounds now in this one. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. They set the pick. Barnes passes to Kerr. Barnes, screen on run. Four on the shot clock. Here's Curry. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Curry's got four points in the quarter. Lakers trail by six. The drive by Rondo. There's the dish to Davis. Over in the corner, Green. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. Well, I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. The Lakers with the ball. Rondo kicks to LeBron. Thompson with the rebound. Warriors leading by eight. Feeds to Kerr. Back to Thompson. Pass to Barnes. against Curry. Here's Bogut. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. LA's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Outside Rondo. Davis sets a screen. Rondo dishes to Davis. Kicks it to Green. Lets it go from deep. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Last year, we saw Anthony Davis with a dramatically improved jump shot, especially Clark compared to his rookie year. Yeah, well, he rebuilt that jump shot, Kevin. He used to shoot from his chin and it interfered with his vision. Now it's more to the side in the traditional manner, and it's become his signature shot. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on him. Here's Curry following the basket by Anthony Davis. And there's the feed to Barnes. A three-pointer is right on target. Barnes has got his second basket of the night. You know, and Davis was initially you know, reluctant to change his shot, but but the numbers did a lot, and, and he only made about a third of them his rookie season. Now, clearly one of the best in the league. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Davis has got six in the quarter. And, and when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Iguodala outside. Another three for Golden State. And Davis started with that high post jumper just a few feet further than a free throw. Now he's working on bank shots, even the three-pointer. I mean, he's taking that confidence and expanding his comfort zone. And here is Davis after the three-pointer from Andre Iguodala. 
It's tipped. Four on three break. Curry passes to Barnes. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. And with the break in the action, let's look at the stats for James. Seventh in three-point field goal percentage. Thirteenth in scoring. And with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands, and he converts at a remarkable rate. And, you know, back to his efficiency from three. You know, defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, but really not having any success. He kicks to Davis. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. 19 points for Anthony Davis. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks that Coach Drew. LeBron with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. LeBron kicks to Davis. Back to LeBron. And here's Green outside. Can't hit. Good D by Thompson. Warriors lead by five. Iguodala dishes to Barnes. Let's it go. And the jumper falls for him. Barnes has got five points now in the quarter. 59 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And here's Rondo. He's got nine. Davis setting the pick for James. It's Davis with the drop. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Davis has got 21. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It will be three points if he converts at the line. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And, Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Spates checked in for Bogut. Draymond Green lane. comes in for Andre Iguodala. Let's Leandro saw. Barbosa, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Warriors leading by four. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Green, no luck. Los Angeles has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Miller outside. He feeds it to Davis. Misses from close range. Livingston. The shot is off. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors lead by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Lakers trail by four. Barnes and Green of the forward set. Livingston is out there with Barbosa, and it's Spates in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now here is Davis. Fades. That one bounces around and comes back out. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. The shot by Spates. Nobody around. Can't hit from the elbow. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Miller against Barnes. Smith outside. Let's the three fly. The Warriors pull it in. And the pass to Barbosa. Here's Space. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. 
wears the box out. Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Warriors? And the they've lane. made the Find long the range look one like shot. a layup at times in this one, guys. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And that one falls for Spates. And Mari Spates last season with the best year of his career. I mean, he shot the cover off the ball and did a nice job on the boards as well. Now, here's Bryant. From 15 feet away, that's good. Here is Livingston. Outside, Green. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Livingston. And it's 13 points for Draymond Green. Lakers trail by seven. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. they got to get going. And Davis can't get it to go. Warriors have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Livingston kicks to Barnes. Four on the clock. Second chance shot. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact in. J.R. Smith picks one up. And look at what Barnes has done so far. He has nine points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. You know what? He's been a difference maker defensively today, Clark. He's disrupted more plays than the stat sheet will show. And how about Harrison Barnes, the Black Falcon? I mean, he was a high school phenom in Ames, Iowa, and a lottery pick back in 2012. Uh, after two seasons at Carolina. Remember also in high school he was a teammate of Dougie McBucket. Barnes hits them both. Harrison Barnes of course went to North Carolina. Grew up as a huge fan of former Tar Heel Michael Jordan. Yeah you know interesting his mother started taping Jordan's games on the VCR years before he was born. His given name Harrison Bryson Jordan Barnes. How about that for I a factor? Didn't, I didn't know that. Nor did I. <laughs> And he gets it to go. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Outside Brent to the left side wing. Howard in the post. Guarded by Green. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Last season was difficult for Dwight Howard, to say the least, across the board. Worse since, in fact, his rookie year. Yeah, he just wasn't able to stay healthy. I mean, looks dominant in spurts. Gets you thinking, okay, he's back. Then his body betrays him. First free throw is good. And talking about Howard, always a perennial double-doubles leader. Last year, through the injuries, he dropped down to 23 total double-doubles. But that was in only 41 games. So the average over an 82-game stretch would have put him in the top five once again. So clearly, he has a lot left when he's healthy. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Getting back to Dwight Howard, I think he's at a crossroads physically. Had back and knee issues. It's highly unlikely he can be 100% for a full season. You just hope to have him happy and healthy for your most important game. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook, really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. The three from LeBron cannot hit. Good D by Johnson. Warriors leading by 10. Iguodala with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Iguodala, the pass to Green. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Green. And that's 23 points for Clay Thompson. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Rondo kicks to Bradley. Ron right side. And again, LeBron missing. Oh, tough D on the inside. It sure was, Greg. No easy access to the basket when that fellow's in the middle. Going good. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. 
Lakers trail by 15. Outside Rondo, he dishes it to Howard. Curry against Rondo. It's Morris atop the key. And again, the Lakers no good. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 16-5 run. Iguodala kicks to Curry. Pass to Bogut. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> and there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But, again, it's just one game, but nonetheless, a very impressive one the way they've handled their business here. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Curry kicks to Thompson. Tries from 10. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got his eighth rebound here tonight. From deep three-point range. And it's James missing. You know, they're not totally dominating the glass, but they're definitely doing enough to keep this lead right where it is. Yeah, but the set they've separated themselves apart in a number of categories. Rebounds just being one of them. That feed by Eagle Dollar, a really good example of his passing ability. On the wing, James. He's covered by Thompson. Back to Rondo. Dishes to Morris. Fires the three. And Bradley gets it to go. Now Curry. Iguodala dishes to Bogut. And it's sent back by Howard. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis comes in for Markeith Morris. And it's Bryant in for Avery Bradley. Here's Thompson. Pass to Curry. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got four rebounds in this game. Outside Bryant. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. That's on Andrew Bogut. Davis has it going on tonight. He's got 24 points, and he's made some good decisions with the basketball, too. And being smart with the ball like he's been today, Clark, I, I think it's critical for him and them. He should repeat that every game. And he knocks down the first one. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. And, and really, the Warriors had an amazing regular season last year. Just from a historical standpoint, it was one of the best ever. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Now, here's Bryant. Puts it up from 15. Draymond Green pulls it in. Green's got rebound number eight now on the night. It's Thompson off the drive. Last season, Draymond Green taking over the starting power forward role in Golden State. Last season, David Lee was injured, remember, in preseason. Green was inserted, uh, and he's been terrific ever since. Absolutely superb. A former second-round pick, his emergence has fueled this team's rise to greatness. So Thompson nails both of them. Lakers trail by 15. LeBron kicks to Davis. Oh, tried to dunk it all, but drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. And, and I, I really have always felt Draymond Green was one of those unique players. I mean, he's he kind of a tweener. 
in terms of that small forward, power forward at, at only 6'7". But he's got toughness. The long arms enable him to defend bigger guys. And also the basketball IQ. You can never discount the importance of understanding what you're doing when you're on the floor. That one is no good. And, and with Draymond Green, he can defend inside. He can cover on the perimeter. I mean, his versatility at both ends of the floor also a huge asset. And you can't have a higher basketball IQ than he does. It really helps him excel at all facets of the game. Lakers trail by 14. High end passes to LeBron. It's hauled in by Andre Iguodala. And wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Curry kicks to Bogut, and that one's good. Bogut's got six points in the quarter. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. James against Iguodala. James dishes to Davis. Can't get it to go. So Golden State will take it the other way. Next up for them is going to be the Suns. That'll be at the U.S. Airways Center. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Green with a screen on run. Thompson passes to Green, and he dunks it after the pick frees him up. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Now here's Rondo. Outside, Kobe. The dish to Davis. Six to shoot. To the wing on the left. And Bryant wide open. He shoots, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Well, clearly the Lakers were not a great team. I mean, they did have one of their better bench units last season. They led the league in points off the bench, but that was more an indictment of the quality of the starters than the firepower of the bench. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Last year, the Lakers did have some firepower off the bench. A lot of players would see their roles shift during the year, as you might expect for a team trying to find the right combination. Yeah, they were also near the top in the league in bench minutes played so whether you start or come off the bench last year in LA you'll see plenty of action now here's Curry feeds to Green Green with a screen for Thompson screen by Bogut and Thompson kicks to Iguodala Green with a screen on Bryant Thompson for the triple the Lakers with the rebound Howard's got nine rebounds now tonight the drive by LeBron. Good. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Curry dishes to Green. LeBron against Iguodala. Pass to Curry. No one near him. The shot's good on the assist by Iguodala. Iguodala's got three assists in the game. And, and guys, Andre Iguodala entered this league a, as an athlete with raw skill. And, and bit by bit, though, he refined his game over the years, except in the one category, free throw shooting. In that one area, he was much better over the first five years of his career than he has been the last five. Lakers trail by 16. Outside Rondo kicks to Kobe, the tray, and again it's the Lakers from deep. And we were talking about Iguodala's free throw shooting. It really is a miracle. He's become so efficient, Clark, in every other area of his game. But last year, in his 11th season, he shot the second worst percentage of his career. Sometimes, Kevin, it's simply a matter of confidence. You miss a few and it gets into your head, and before you know it, the harder you're trying, the worse it gets. Screen by Bogut, six to shoot. It's Curry outside. No luck. Davis with some nice D. Los Angeles has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Ryan passes to LeBron. Great D that time from Higudala. He's certainly not been at his best this quarter. And that's an understatement. Pope 
loose. It's stolen by Davis. One on one fast break. And he dumps it down. It's as if the defense just let him go. Um, he'll thank them for that because he got a chance to perform a little razzle tazzle on that one. Warriors leading by 11. Curry picks to Green. Bogut high post. Thompson against Kobe. Five on the clock. Green inside the three-point line, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Lakers trail by 11. Davis drives in, and that looks good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. Here's Thompson following the basket by Anthony Davis. Thompson dishes to Bogut. The feet to Curry. On deep. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. That's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And that's now 33 points for Anthony Davis. But they're this close to putting it away. Yeah, and they don't need to do anything to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, just take time off the clock and squeeze the orange. Don't turn it over. It's Thompson off the drive, and the Warriors miss again. Oh, boy, I tell you what, they don't get much uglier than the quarter he's having. Yeah, and it's not showing any signs, Greg, of turning around here soon. I mean, this touch is basically gone AWOL. Outside curve. So we see the Warriors get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed down the stretch, but they did what they needed to do and held their ground when it mattered most and got the dunk. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by. Ports up. Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Clay Thompson. As a unit, the team seemed to have a cohesive approach out there. How important was the lift you got from the bench? Just do it as a team. You know, it's not an individual effort. We're a real deep team this year. We got uh, a lot of guys who have started on some good teams, so we just did collectively. Thank you, Clay. We so appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Now we'll head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's not too far away. EJ? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. He's their floor general, guys. And tonight he showed everyone why he's got the keys to their offense. He was dropping dimes all over the place. A grand total of 14 assists. He was always one move ahead, keeping the defenders on their heels the entire game. I thought this performance he needed to deliver, Ernie. He needed this game. You look at how he's been playing recently, and this was huge for him to come out and have a great night. You can really tell a lot about a player, how they break out of a slump. He responded exactly the way he needed to. And, folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jetsmith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.